So you got yourself some great flowers. The question is, is there a science to keeping them fresh? There is, and it all starts with a clean cut. You've got to start by cutting the end here as a clean cut because you want the water to be able to work its way up the little tiny tubules that carry water up to the top. Now when you think of those tubules, I simply took a bunch of straws and put them together. Think of the stem like this, and so that clean cut there allows the water to easily work its way up. There's no debate about this. The debate is about what you put in the water. Is there anything that makes them grow, that keeps them longer, that keeps them fresh? The debate is sugar or soda or how about vinegar? We've heard bleach, aspirin, even pennies. What does all this stuff do? Well, there's two things that you want. The first thing is you want nutrients to kind of help them uh, grow and, and make sure they're okay. That's why the sugar, the sugar kind of comes in. The problem is the sugar also helps breed bacteria, so you need something to kill the bacteria. So that's why they like that vinegar, the drop of bleach, maybe even the copper from the penny to, uh, to be able to break it down. Here's the bottom line. Floris commissioned this big study and said, what should you put in there? They even said aspirin. They found out none of that. The best thing to do, keep them in the refrigerator. If you have a clean cut and you keep them in the refrigerator, that's the best way to keep your flowers fresh. So let's say you got some of these cool flowers, the white carnations here, but you want to do something kind of fun with a little sciency. Look at these. You can easily make these beautiful red flowers. It's as simple as some food coloring. Now, if you just take all of the flowers, put it in a vase, you're going to use a ton of food coloring. I mean, you'd have to use a big bottle of food coloring, a lot more than this. So I've got a technique for you to use a small amount of food coloring, and we're back to one of those straws. So you're going to take a straw like this, like one of the big milkshake straws, fold it up like this, and then and hook it with a clip that will keep, help keep the liquid inside. Now load this with the food coloring, straight food coloring, maybe just a little bit of water, put the whole thing down inside and look at what happens here. In about an hour and a half you get that beautiful color working up because it's so concentrated. So here's the red, you can kind of see this here in the greens, but now you've got a technique, look at what you can do. Take that same straw, bend it in half, and now there's two chambers here. Load this one with one color, red for example, this one with another color, blue, put it in here, and now you gotta fix the, uh, the flower. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna take a knife and very carefully split the stem. So hopefully the color goes up one side, this color goes up the other side, look at this down here, it's exactly what we did, about an hour and a half, and you get that amazing split carnation there. You see, you're only limited by your creativity, a little science know-how, and maybe uh, just some common sense with keeping the flowers nice and fresh. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your Flower Science Minute.